Hey friends, welcome back to my channel and today I'm going to be sharing with you the projects I created with the In Love Art Shop dies that I recently hauled. So um, the first thing I'm going to share is I had gotten this like sunflower die here and I will leave all the dies links in the description box if you guys are interested in checking them out. And what I decided to do with that um, was I made some... Halloween embellishments, which were bag toppers. And let me grab them here for you. I made a little book here. And these are the bag toppers that I made with the sunflower die. So I had these jumbo confettis from Walmart, and then I had some stickers. <clears throat> I used the um, little what ornaments, Halloween ornaments from Dollar Tree. And then I used the little hands um, from Dollar Tree as well. These are like some little um, wooden embellishments from Michaels. And I added a little spider there, added the cute little bow. So cute, I think this turned out adorable. So since I made two of the same, I decided, and they're pretty good size, I decided to make like a little book out of it. So, this is what I did here. I need to glue that a little bit better. Just added a little bit of a trim there. I had gotten this lollipop embellishment last year from some Happy Mail, and I thought it was super cute to add to the center of it. It's a little shaker. It's really pretty. And then here on the corner, I just added a little um, vellum rosette that was also in my stash from some Happy Mail. Out of the bat, it says Happy Halloween. Here's another like acetate little ephemera piece I added on the corner. And then I just layered some cardstock paper, added the ribbon that says Happy Halloween. And then in here, I just decorated it with some Target Dollar Spot chipboard stickers. And I also added the Happy Halloween that also came from Target this year. And then I made a little pocket here. And I just added a sticker that says Wicked, this little haunted house. And I thought this would be cute to add um, other like embellishments. You can even slip in a memory decks card if you'd like. Um, I just thought this would be a cute little way to send happy mail. And then in the back, it's pretty plain. Just looks like that. And then you just tie a little bow and then I'll probably end up adding like a little charm or something, um, a little tassel dangle here too as well. But I think this turned out super, super cute. So that's what I, I made this from the inspiration of this. <laughs> so yeah, that was fun to create. And then with this piece, this is a little bag um, die here. And what I did was made a little sequence um, mix and I just added a little bit of tape there. And then I have the little baggie that I have of sequence and I just taped it down with some washi tape. And then I just decorated it. I did a little bit of a ruffled paper um, base there with some enamel dots out of the word haunted. I had this pink, pink, <laughs> this acrylic pumpkin in my stash, added that bow. And yeah, I thought it was a cute way to send a little package of sequence mix. I can totally do this in all different themes, but um, I thought it, it would match perfect with the traditional orange, black and white. And then the next die I had was these. This is perfect for a tag flip, but what I ended up doing with this, I just made one tag and I just layered it with um, the biggest one going with the medium size one and the smallest one. And I didn't do too much layering, but, um, and then all I did was add a ribbon to all three of them to get them to go together and then just decorated it here. You'd some trim from Michael's, added a little bow on that pumpkin these are chipboard pieces from target and some more jumbo confetti i thought had that little pretty gray resin flower in my stash as well so i thought that turned out really cute just one simple little tag embellishment and then with these these were a mixture and i didn't use all of them but i did use the bat i believe yeah, I used the bat. This is a little um, fence. So I used that and the bat. And then I also used 
the little pumpkin. So those are the ones that I used out of that. And what I created with that was some rosettes. And um, I used a paper uh, doily die that I had. Or a, <laughs> a die that I can make a paper doily, I guess that's what to say. And then I added a white crepe paper. And then I added the little fence there. Added the little word boo, enamel dot. Here's the pumpkin underneath there. Can't see too much, but it has, it's on top of a black um, jumbo confetti pumpkin. The other side is glittered out, but I just used the plain black part. And then added the little gray bow and then this ghosty with the little bat hanging there. So I thought these turned out super cute. This could be as a rosette. Great as another addition to a bag topper, memory decks card, or a great starter to start a wand. So I did make two of them. They're pretty much the same. And then last but not least, I had this little ice cream die. Here's the cone, the ice cream part. And what I did with these, they're pretty small, but I just made um, the little ice creams and then I added this little enamel resin piece um, or acrylic piece here. It has the witch's hat and then it has like a little skeleton hanging upside down. I think it's a skeleton. I'm not sure exactly what it is, but I thought it looked cute just hanging on the tip of the ice cream. And yeah, that's all I did with this. So not all of these were specifically made for Halloween, but I did turn all of it into Halloween projects because that's what I've been working on. So I hope you guys enjoyed my little crafty share. Hope you're doing well. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And if you're interested in any of the products, the links will be down below and I will see you guys in my next video. Take care. Bye.